Hello. Um, back again. Trying some new. Um, trying to use an actual camera instead of my iPhone for recording. Um, but yes, welcome back to my corner of the basement. Everybody gets sad, but you just got to keep on smiling. Everybody gets mad, but you just got to pick up yourself. I would like to uh, tell you a story about my true um, worst decision of my life. I made, oh, don't sneeze right into the microphone. I recently made a video about uh, what I called my biggest regret. Um, it had to do with uh, giving away my Nintendo 3DS. But I'm here to tell you my true uh, biggest regret, which is selling all of my games. And I'll, let me let me bring you back to, I don't know, when, when the PS3 came out. Around that time, um, I had a bunch of old games, not it was too old at the time, but I had some like GameCube games and I hadn't had a Wii yet, but I had like PS2 games. Um, and I had like a huge collection of like Game Boy games. Being like 10 or, or 11 or whatever I was, I um, didn't really play those games a whole lot anymore. And I really um, had gotten into trading in games at EB Games or GameStop and other places. And so I decided to ask my dad, I said, hey dad, um, wouldn't it be cool if I just traded in all of my old games and got something cool? And my dad agreed uh, because he had to be at least 18 years old to, uh, to do that. So what I did was I got like so many, I freaking like Luigi's Mansion, Mario Sunshine, um, maybe Wind Waker even, like a bunch of GameCube games. I didn't keep very many. We um, put them all in a bag. We took them down to EB Games. We had the poor, poor um, or was that, uh, clerk person, cashier, go through every single one of my games and tell me how much I was getting. Um, and I must have been, a, like, uh, seriously, I must have had so many games. Because you know how much EB Games gives you. They're, they're like pennies compared to what the games are actually worth. But what I ended up getting at the end of the day was about $300. Um, and the clerk, the, the cashier even, was like, look, kid, that's enough to almost get a PS3. And my dad was willing to give me the money uh, for a PS3. And you know what I did with all that money I traded in. I got Guitar Hero World Tour for the PS2. Now, <sighs> Guitar Hero World Tour was like a big, a big box and it came with um, drums and the guitars. And it was pretty, it was like all right. I think I got it because my cousins were really into Guitar Hero at the time. Um, Everybody must have thought I was an idiot because that was like a novelty. Um, I could have got a system, but I, I, I made my choice. My dad was like, well, it's your decision. Um, and I made my choice and I, I brought Guitar Hero home. And not like two months later, my younger cousin, um, these drums have like, it's like the, guitar, the, it's like the rock band drums, except they have cymbals. And my cousin was f screwing around with the cymbals and twisted it all the way around and snapped the cord, rendering it useless. It was literally useless at that point. I was so mad. I had spent my own, basically my own money on that. Um, and yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, uh, as a dumb 11, 10 year old, whatever, got Guitar Hero and uh, instead of a PS3 and it broke within a couple of months and all of those games went to waste. And I'm pretty much still making up for that. Um, I'm still buying all the games that I had when I was a kid. I, I think I have most of the GameCube games I give away. Um, luckily, I don't care as much about PS2. Um, the Game Boy games are kind of, 
I wish I didn't give all those away. I only have a few left from my childhood. Um, yeah, I just made horrible decisions with my consoles as a kid. Um, I, on top of that, the story's almost over, but pretty much like... I had to start from the ground up, basically, with my classics. I still had like a couple of GameCube games that I kept, like um, Paper Mario. I, I, I kept Paper Mario forever and Smash Brothers, and I think I had Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, but, like, I didn't have my N64 either, um, because the, the way I remember it was that my parents were like, we can't afford a Nintendo DS, so you have to trade in all of the N64 games. We just give it to EB Games and... And that's what we did. Um, and you know what the fucking game I got for the 3D, the Nintendo DS was? It's Super Mario 64. I had that on N64. I got Super Mario 64 for the DS. I mean, it was upgraded version, granted. Um, but yeah, and so that those are like the two. My, my consoles were the N64 and the GameCube, and I had games in the PS2 um, and my Game Boy Advance. And so, yeah, I mean, I did end up getting a, a, a N64, and that's a story for another time. Um, but I'm slowly but surely building my collection back up. I am turning 25, and it's taken me since like I was 15 when I started trying to collect my stuff again. Um, and yeah. That's that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did. Because I have to say that every time. As if anybody who's not watching will know I said that. Uh, but thanks. I really appreciate anybody who's um, watching. Currently sitting at 109 subscribers. Let's see if we can get it up. Um, yeah, if you like uh, my dumb little stories about my stupid decisions, uh, continue following my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.